Hi, my name is Dr. Vanessa Paredes and I am an orthodontist and a professor at the University of Valencia, Spain, as my two co-authors. I am an international AAO member and I received the 2018 case report of the year award two years ago from the AAO. I am happy to present a new case report and I hope that you find it interesting. A 31-year-old woman complaining of gummy smile came into my office. Besides her gummy smile, she had a normal upper lip length, although she had an alteration in her lip mobility. The angle canine and molar relationship was an incomplete class two with increased overjet, overbite, and curve of speed. She presents a severe brachyfacial pattern with convex profile. The X-ray shows a severe brachyfacial pattern with a skeletal class II. Third molar had already been extracted. How would you treat this case? There are three key points in this case. Number one, gummy smile. Number two, overbite. And number three, negative incisor or torque. Treatment plan was focused on uh, achieving a good occlusion, statics, function, and stability in the shortest possible treatment duration without any need for patient compliance. Tests were placed to correct anterior, posterior, and vertical problems. Two tests were placed in the maxillary tuberosity, as we can see on the picture, to correct class two. Three more tests were placed in the incisor area to correct gummy smile in the upper arch and to flattering the curve of speed in the lower arch. An X-ray control is very important during treatment to avoid any root damage. There are eight key points to consider to be successful with this treatment. Number one, bone and gum quality. Number two, driver incision torque and orthodontic skills. Number three, mini screwed head, length and diameter. Number four, appropriate biomechanics. Number five, inclination and distance to the root. Number six, load force. Number seven, time from mini screw placement to loading. And finally, an X-ray control. Final photo shows a very good balanced face with no gummy smile. The patient was very happy with the results. A good occlusion, statics, and function were achieved at the end of the treatment. The final X-ray showed significant changes and a very good parallelism was achieved. Frontal video shows how we are correcting gummy smile with upper mini screws and we are flattering the curve of speed with uh, lower tests. Lateral view shows how we are correcting class two with maxillary tuberosity tests and we are correcting vertical problems in a second place. And finally, occlusal view shows maxillary tuberosity tests and how we are correcting class two creating spaces in the upper arch. Finally, I would like to thank the AJODO for granting me this opportunity to present this case. I encourage all of you to read this manuscript. Thank you very much.